Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned techie, this video is for you. We're talking about hacking, but hold on. I'm talking about hacking. We're diving into 12 cool hacking projects, perfect for beginners in 2025. These projects will introduce you to the tools and techniques used in cybersecurity. Let's get started. First up, we're tackling a classic, password cracking. This is one of the most fundamental skills in the world of cybersecurity. Remember, we're all about ethical hacking here. Our goal is to understand the methods used by malicious hackers so we can better defend against them. We'll be using Python to create a simple password cracker. Python is a versatile language that's perfect for this kind of task. This project is about understanding how passwords are hashed and how brute force attacks work. Hashing is a crucial concept in securing passwords. Don't worry, we'll be using pre-made word lists and focusing on weaker password types. This will help us see how easily some passwords can be cracked. The goal is to learn the importance of using strong, unique passwords. Strong passwords are your first line of defense against cyber attacks. We'll touch upon techniques like dictionary attacks and rainbow tables. These are common methods used to crack passwords. It's all about staying one step ahead in the cybersecurity game. By understanding these techniques, we can better protect our systems and data. Next up, we're diving into the world of keyloggers. We'll be building a basic keylogger using Python for educational purposes only. Remember, remember, using keyloggers on someone else's computer without their consent is illegal and unethical. This project is about understanding how keystrokes are captured and recorded. We'll explore different techniques and libraries in Python that make this possible. Understanding the potential misuse of such tools is crucial in becoming a responsible cybersecurity enthusiast. Remember, the goal here is to learn, not to exploit. Ever wonder what happens behind the scenes when you're browsing the web or sending an email? Every click, every message, and every interaction generates data that travels across networks. We're diving into the world of network sniffing, a fascinating and crucial aspect of cybersecurity. We'll be using tools like Wireshark to capture and analyze network traffic, giving us a window into the digital conversations happening all around us. Think of it like eavesdropping on a conversation, but instead of words, it's packets of data. These packets contain valuable information about how devices communicate. You'll learn how to capture network traffic and identify different protocols, which is essential for diagnosing network issues and securing communications. This project is crucial in understanding how networks operate and how vulnerabilities can be exploited. By analyzing traffic, we can spot weaknesses before they become serious threats. We'll be sniffing traffic on our own networks or with explicit permission, ensuring that our activities are ethical and legal. Unethical network monitoring can have serious consequences, including legal repercussions and breaches of privacy. Always practice responsible and authorized network analysis. Chapter 4. SQL Injection – The Art of Talking to Databases We're talking about SQL injection, a technique that exploits vulnerabilities in web applications. This method allows attackers to interfere with the queries an application makes to its database. We'll be using ethical hacking principles and focusing on strengthening security. Ethical hackers use these techniques to identify and fix vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. Imagine being able to talk directly to the brain of a website. SQL injection is like having a conversation with the database, but with potentially dangerous consequences if misused. We'll demonstrate how simple it can be to exploit poorly coded websites and how to protect against such attacks. Understanding these vulnerabilities is the first step in defending against them. We'll look at real-world examples of SQL injection attacks and their consequences. These case studies will highlight the importance of robust security measures. You'll learn how to identify vulnerable websites and craft malicious queries. This knowledge is crucial for both offensive and defensive cybersecurity strategies. 
This chapter is about understanding the importance of secure coding practices. By the end, you'll appreciate why writing secure code is essential in protecting web applications from SQL injection attacks. Chapter 5. Phishing Simulation. Don't take the bait. We're simulating a phishing attack to learn how to identify and defend against these tactics. Phishing attacks use cleverly disguised emails and websites to trick people into giving up sensitive information. We'll create our own phishing simulations and understand the psychology behind these attacks. You'll learn how to spot the telltale signs of a phishing attempt and how to protect yourself. This chapter is about awareness, education, and understanding the social engineering aspect of cybersecurity. Chapter 6. Wi-Fi Dother, The Ethics of Disconnecting We'll be building our own Dother, a device that can jam or disconnect Wi-Fi signals. Remember, ethical and legal boundaries apply here. We'll use this project for educational purposes only, focusing on understanding the technology and its potential misuse. We'll discuss the ethical implications and legal ramifications of unauthorized network disruptions. This chapter is about understanding the power of wireless technologies and the importance of using them responsibly. Chapter 7. Vulnerability Scanner – X-ray Vision for Your Systems We'll be building a basic vulnerability scanner using Python and popular security libraries Think of it like a digital X-ray machine for your tech, revealing hidden cracks and vulnerabilities. We'll learn how to identify common vulnerabilities and write scripts to detect them. You'll learn how to identify potential security holes in your own systems and how to mitigate them. This chapter is about proactive security, being aware of vulnerabilities and taking steps to protect yourself. Chapter 8. Steganography hiding in plain sight. Welcome to the world of steganography, the art of hiding information in plain sight. We'll explore different techniques to conceal data within images, audio files, and text documents. We'll use various tools and scripts to embed and extract hidden data. We'll explore historical examples of steganography and discuss its modern day applications. This chapter is about understanding the art of deception and how data can be hidden in unexpected places. Chapter 9, Social Engineering Toolkit, The Human Element of Hacking In cybersecurity, it's not always about brute-forcing passwords or exploiting technical vulnerabilities. Sometimes, the weakest link is us, humans. We'll explore social engineering using the Social Engineering Toolkit. SET allows you to simulate various social engineering attacks, from phishing campaigns to fake wireless access points. We'll discuss different social engineering tactics, and how to identify and defend against them. By understanding the tactics used by social engineers, we can better protect ourselves and our organizations. Chapter 10, Ransomware Simulation. Don't pay the ransom. Ransomware attacks are becoming increasingly common. We're going to simulate a ransomware attack to understand how it works and how to protect against it. We'll build a basic ransomware simulator to understand how these programs encrypt files and demand payment. We'll discuss different types of ransomware and how to identify the signs of an infection. This chapter is about being prepared and understanding the threat of ransomware. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. Chapter 11. Reverse Engineering – Unveiling the Code Secrets Ever wondered how software works under the hood? We're diving into the world of reverse engineering. We'll use tools like disassemblers and debuggers to dissect software and understand its inner workings. We'll discuss the ethical and legal considerations of reverse engineering. You'll learn how to analyze compiled code and use debugging tools to step through program execution. This chapter is about gaining a deeper understanding of software and the skills needed to analyze and manipulate it. Chapter 12, IoT Hacking, Securing the Connected World. From smart homes to wearable tech, the Internet of Things or IoT is rapidly changing the way we live. But with increased connectivity comes increased security risks. We'll explore the unique vulnerabilities of IoT devices and use ethical hacking techniques to test their security. 
we'll discuss common IoT vulnerabilities and how to secure your own devices. This chapter is about understanding the security implications of the IoT and becoming responsible stewards of this connected future. And there you have it, 12 cool hacking projects for beginners in 2025. Hopefully this video has sparked your curiosity about the world of cybersecurity. Remember, ethical hacking is about using your knowledge for good to identify and fix vulnerabilities. Keep experimenting, keep learning, and keep those ethical hacking skills sharp. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay curious, stay secure, and keep on hacking, ethically of course.